The Organization of African Institutes and Churches was founded in 1978 in Cairo, Egypt. The African Independent Churches is starting to work on reaching out other churches in the ecumenical movement. And the interactions now and the fellowship with mainline churches is very cordial. In the founding of African Independent Churches uh, was a protest, first of all, um, for local control of access to divine and also uh, for independence of African states, land, and also economy of the countries. But more importantly, propagation of culture. Now, when I look and compare with the First Nations uh, Aboriginal ministries, um, there is a lot of similarity because these are the people who are rising up to reclaim their space. And talking about the space is not just a space which we can call a place to feel at home, but a place to feel that you belong. A place to feel that you are where you are supposed to be and you are interacting with the divine as yourself. When I look at the relationship between the United Church of Canada and the Aboriginal ministries, I see a lot of uh, solidarity from United Church of Canada to the Aboriginal ministries, and that seems also to have strengthened the Aboriginal ministries' willingness, you know, to give their stories without fear. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada help to support programs like this one. Thank you, and please, continue to give. Oh,